Hi guys, welcome back to another project on Carport Autos. Uh, this is just going to be a quick turnaround on this one. Um, the Fiesta, which you have seen finished in one of the previous videos, the person that had it, this was their car beforehand. Uh, and they've asked us to sell it on from them. And if I didn't mention it before, the person was a, my cousin. So we're going to do a couple of quick engine bits on this. Uh, but the biggest thing on this one will be cleaning. Uh, it's a Peugeot 207 Sport and it's on a template. Uh, yeah, I mean, it needs a rocker cover gasket changing and a coolant flush and an oil change. So those are the quick things we're going to do. Well, the biggest thing is cleaning. I mean, if any of you watch the Passat, that's pretty much how the Passat wheels were. And it's all over the car, really. Uh, just needs a good clean. I mean, there's the odd scuff and scratch here. There's a little mark here. I mean, we've got a build up of cobwebs on back here. And that's how the rest of the car it's it's not too bad. Headlights are a little bit going a little bit, so I might just get mop out on them quickly mop them over because we've not got time to to go over them properly and it is literally just clean it and uh, door needs a bit of WD-40 and on the inside uh, yeah it's, it's, it's just a good clean that is needed. It's got 99,930 on the clock. I'll give it a start, see if it starts. Dairy products oh. are no longer fit. Turn off before I get copyright. Sorry, guys. Schoolboy error. Caught the button as I was recording, but didn't stop it. So yeah, let's start it. Start it up. So it starts up. The only lights it's got on are the warning lights for saying that the parking brake's on, no seatbelt and doors are open. Nothing else. Runs okay. Drives okay. Um, obviously, it's a lot of wear and tear in it, so the steering wheel's quite worn. Uh, but yeah, everything everything's working as it should. Just needs a really good clean. So that that's going to be basically the biggest part of this one: cleaning it. The engine bits won't take that long. Cleaning is going to be the biggest part. Then once it's clean, we'll uh, we'll get it up, take some pictures, get it up on, for sale, see if we can get rid of it. Alright guys, we're just in process of taking everything off first get rock cover off and change it but it could be a sign of why it needs changing all of these gullies where it uh, spark plugs go oh, they're for oil so we've got to drain that out first before we take it off and then take all the rest of it and set it off Hi 
that guy's just quick cut in, rock goes off. Uh, should they be covered in all that? No, that's what the seals are for to stop that. As you can see here, guys, each one of these is covered in oil, and that is what the gaskets should prevent from going in journals. But uh, not journals, not journals. Spark, spark plug, uh, where spark plugs are. And my cousin said last time she took it in. They've replaced this gasket. Me thinks they were saying Billy lies. Because they're buggered. I mean, look at these ones here. They're squashed to Heavens and Betsy, so as they say. So, fresh ones here. Clean it all up. Clean everything up around there. And then, uh, repeat. Reverse the process of what we've just done. Right then, all cleaned up. And I said I wasn't going to say it, but I'm going to piss him off. Uh, journals. <laughs> now, uh, we've cleaned where all spark plugs go. We've uh, we've cleaned all them out. We've done spark plugs. We've cleaned spark plugs up. We're just going to get feeler gauge out now. And just check, make sure they've got the right gap on them. And then we'll uh, start putting everything back together, I think. And there we go, back together. Uh, we're gonna fire, do you wanna do fire it up or? We need to get warm hot, don't we? Uh, oil hot, don't we? To drop it. Drop it oil. Yeah. Oil filter change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna start it up in a second, but yeah, all back together. Um, Start it up, see how it goes, but it's all back together. What we found is that the two bolts inside of here, they had two gaskets on it. So, theory, and it's Dave's theory, that the gap was causing not, not everything to seal properly. And that's why we were getting oil into where spark plugs were. So, yeah, see how it goes. Right, oil filter time. Uh, this is replacement, brand new, looks all right. This was the supposed service that was done, but quite recent, but that looks a little bit older than me thinks. Um, I just don't think they did the, the job right and changed it, so a little bit of Billy Lion told there. Carport autos, come to us. All right guys, cleaning day. Again, shot of the wheels. Now you won't believe it, I've just put some APC on this. It's not even touched the surface. But we'll give it a pre-rinse. All around car. And we'll wash it. And we'll clear bar it. But yeah, I'm not gonna film all of it. Cause you've seen me do this a number of times, excuse me. A bit of windy pops, uh, but yeah, try and get it washed and get it up for sale. Right, crack on. Right, it's just first wheel. I mean, I'll, I'm going to put a bit of time lapse on what I do to these wheels, try and get them a little bit better. But compared to how it were, I mean, there's a couple of little spots like here, 
and down here but that's had three passes over it and I ain't gonna get it any better but it's a fast improvement on what were there already or there before should I say so yeah coming up well if you picked it up in that bit of video but in all these bits all these shots and everything lots of ingrain you know stuff that's like, been in there for quite a few years so I always give it a, a pre-wash with some APC get it all out and when I get when I give it a snow foam wash I go in it all with the detailing brush try and get as much out as possible uh, always make sure you do that that's gonna be next but I don't know if you can pick it up but all these bits this is just what's being flung out of these channels so yeah it's well worth doing See from that last bit, just kick the engine bay a quick once over, uh, just trying to make it look a little bit more appealing. But what I tend to always do as well, as soon as I've done it, try and dry as much off as I possibly can because you never know. There you go, outside is clean, and do you know what? Clean, it doesn't look too bad. There's a little scuff, so there's a little scuff here. The odd mark around it, that does detract from its overall appearance. I think I've already pointed this one out. It's a scratchy here, but, and that won't polish you out, unfortunately. But yeah, just the inside to do. And then photograph it and get it up for sale. Looking quite decent. Right guys, uh, just seen outside's all done. Now time to tackle it inside. Um, obviously, I don't really want to go overboard on this one because I want to do it as quick as possible. But, obviously needs a good hoovering. It's also good, I think I spotted this in the last video, is to pull these seats up where possible. Because as you can see, it does show up a lot of rubbish. Uh, so it's always good to make sure you're getting all of them. But as regards to the seats themselves, I mean, there's a little bit of something on there, which I should be able to get off just with a a rag but I don't really want to go to the the depths of giving these a, a deep clean so yeah we'll see how we go uh, see how we get to after after Ubering. Right guys uh just in the middle of cleaning the old Peugeot and got to the steering wheel and on first glance it looks like it's proper proper mashed up but what I'm going to do is I've got a magic eraser, doused it in some G101 
I'm just going to go over it and see if that can do anything for it because I don't know if it's grounding dirt or oh, something on there. If it is what I think it is, it's always good to get one of these uh, magic erasers out on it. Probably need a couple of passes for the amount of crap that's on it. But look at the state of that. Get it off. Get a quick wipe, see where we're at. Yeah, it's what I thought it was. It was, uh, I think it's makeup, if I'm honest. Uh, I'm, I'm not trying to be sexist or anything like that, but certain females, they apply makeup, spray it on the hands, straight on the steering wheel, and it just grinds in. But as you can see, it's what it was. And it is coming off it's going to take at least two or three passes but if you get anything like that don't just assume your steering wheel's trashed <laughs> get one of these magic erasers and see if it'll uh it'll get it off quick tip there we go clean i'm not gonna lie it's not the jobs i normally you know as much as i normally do but inside of it's clean I mean really do we do in the seats but just haven't got the time oh she's all clean smells a lot better too it's now ready for sale like I say it's not perfect but then again it is a 2010 car so never gonna be so yeah another one done up for sale relatively soon uh, and yeah uh, just on the lookout for his next project now because after seeing this video you'll see that the uh, the BMW project is dead uh, so yeah we're, uh, we're on the lookout for another project but if you in the meantime if you do like these videos please do consider subscribing uh, for those that have subscribed and dropping comments we really do appreciate it and thank you so much but yeah I'll uh, I'll see you in the next one